So guys, I have to apologize. Welcome back. And let me share the screen and let's go back to our session. So guys, exercise number three is saying we have to listen to the recording and we have to write all the noun noun combinations that we can hear. Number one is all for us. It is saying post office. Now let's keep listening to check all the noun, noun, noun plus noun words that are said in the recording. Is it five point what? Five point fourteen. So this is unit five, and this is recording fourteen. Someone is trying to join us. Ah, oh, Nahil, I don't have money to buy you. So five point fourteen. Tape script 5.16. No, I need 14. Tape script 5.14. Amazing. So let us listen. Noun plus noun. One. Excuse me, is there a post office near here? So is there a post office near here? This is it. So please listen carefully. Okay. Yes. Can you see the bus stop over there? Yes, I can. Well, it's next to the bus stop, near the traffic lights. Thanks. So, what are the nouns? Nouns. Bus stop. Bus stop. Uh huh. And what? And the traffic lights. Amazing. So, bus stop. This is it. So, not this is it. Bus stop. And the traffic lights, this is it. So traffic lights. Now composition number two. Two. I can't find my sunglasses. Not again. Look in your handbag. Where's my handbag? It's in the living room. Oh yes, there it is. And there they are. So, sunglasses, 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 guys. sunglasses, 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 handbag, this is handbag, and finally, oh, bravo, living room, Wurfit and Maisha, living room, amazing, now finally, we have four, Noun plus noun words. Let's listen to the final conversation. Three. Excuse me, is there a petrol station near here? A petrol station? Yeah. Go past the railway station and the car park. It's just before the motorway. That's very kind. Thank you. So, what are the noun noun words? Petrol station. Petrol oh, station. Oh, Petrol station. This is number one. What else? Car park. Car park. Car park. Exactly. What else? Motorbike. Motorbike. Car park. Motorbike. We still have one. I didn't hear uh, that. Who, who heard it? Let's listen again. It is something about station again. So let's listen again to know. Railway station? Railway station. Let's listen, please. Here. A petrol station? Yeah. Go past the railway station and the car park. It's just before the motorway. That's very kind. Thank you. So, motorway and we have a mistake. What? Motor, motor ride, not Mot motor, but motor ride. Hmm? I don't have ride here. So, motorbike, this is it. Okay, you can hold up. Yes, 
he said motorbike, but maybe you heard it in a wrong way. Motorbike is guys uh, motor a uh, motor uh, motorbike and motorway railway station petrol station and car park. So this is about noun plus noun. Now sometimes guys we have noun plus verb. Okay. So this is guys if you want to take a look at this picture we have sunglasses two nouns handbag again two nouns. So as I told you, we have now verb plus noun, not noun plus noun. And absolutely, guys, we have to match the verb with the noun in this list. If I want to say send, I have to send a lot of text messages. What about drive? Because drive a car, exactly. And ride? A motorboy? A motorbike. Come on, guys, I don't drive a motorbike or drive a bike. خطأ. Ride فقط للموتوبايك والبايسيكل and the drive is for car. Speak what? Three languages. Uh, three languages. This is it. Earn. Earn what? Earn a lot of money. Exactly. Of money. Lots of money. Live. Live on the third floor. On the third floor. Exactly. So live. On the third floor. Where? Oh, oh play, sorry. Play what? Play. Guitar. Guitar, exactly. Guitar. Wear what? A suit and tie. Oh, uh, exactly. A suit, a and, suit tie. and a tie. Look after what? Children. 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 Look after Yatin uh, B. No. Bravo. Watch Look TV. After... Watch, Watch TV. TV a lot. This is it. Watch TV a lot. So this is noun, noun, maybe verb, noun. They go together to mean something. So this is it. Okay. Now, guys, if you notice that exercise number nine is talking about prepositions. Guys, في بعض الأسماء والأفعال the prepositions بتكون ثابتة ما بتتغير. يعني لاحظوا listening على طول لما أقول listening لازم أقول to. ما بتزبط listening بلا to هي واحد وأصلا ما بتزبط استخدم preposition تاني مع عدد to so بكل مرة guys بدنا نقول listening سواء بسبيكينج أو بالرايتنج أكيد لازم نقول to طبعا هيدي guys fixed يعني ثابتة على طول listening بدا to now let's try to solve this exercise to check about the fixed prepositions or maybe the changeable one number two is saying what sort in music, do you like? Of oh, you. Oh, bravo. <laughs> Atul, guys, لما يكون عندي kind أو sort, دائما منقول of. Kind of أو sort of. اثنيناته نفس المعنى. So, kind of music or sort of music. So, this is fixed. فمعنى هاي rule number two. Fixed ثابتة لا تتغير. Three. Where is or where is your girlfriend? شو أي شو؟ you're from exactly where are you from where is she from so all the time if you are talking about this one you have to use from now for is paula married mike to my, to my. Uh, bravo طبعاً أو أقول with لأنه خطأ فعطول المرد بتاخد to طبعا guys لهلا كله ثابت لا يتغير دائما المرد بتاخد to Five is saying, do you want to come shopping? Me? With me. Oh, bravo. With me. Oh, bravo. Come with me. This is it. So come with me. Wait, guys, I have an urgent call. Only one minute, please. One minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so we said that shopping with me now six is saying, Were there any good programs? Television on, on, on television, 
at on, television. On television. So all the time, all the time, if you want to say television, on TV, on television. Uh, oh, guys, please, please. I know only one minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, guys, sorry again. Okay, so on TV, on television, all the time, guys, if you are talking about TV, you have to use on. Now, seven, what do you want your birthday for? Bravo. طبعا, guys, لاحظوا أنه الوند أحياناً بتاخذ the preposition to, this is it, وأكيد أحياناً for. فأنا حسب the context, أكيد بدي أستخدم the preposition. So this is changeable, not fixed. Now eight, can I it's speak? Huh? What is it? It's for, not from. Ah, sorry. Uh, yeah, exactly. For, not from. I have to apologize. So for. Now let me request for. So can I speak, Dave? Is he? With me. Can I speak? With Dave. With Dave. Can I okay, but oh, wait, wait, let me close to you, close this. What if I want to say talk? Can I talk? Talk again uh, with Dave. Nope. Today? To or Dave. Exactly. So if you want to say speak with you or talk to Dave, Dave, sorry, so please be careful. Is he work today? At work. at work so all the time if you want to mention the work you have to say at so please guys be careful of the propositions because they are extremely important now let me go down okay now polite requests guys Anna is a badis al sual muaddab taban kibit muaddab tani polite or request talab I have two solutions I can use can and I can use could. Taban guys, it can will could Napsir function, Napsir rule. Yani Anna, other istachdim can, other istachdim could. Il far il basit, il basit guys, ben il can will could. Il could hi rasmiya akter min il can. Let me show you a page about can and could. Birja ab ul guys, la no hatalao jarabna an no nubrum ala il can will could. حنلاقي إنه نفس الرول يعني أنا إذا بدي أسأل سؤال مؤدب أقدر أستخدم كان وأقدر أستخدم كود both of them for polite questions بس الكود هي رسمية أكتر فيفضل يفضل guys أنا إذا كنت at school at the university at the dentists at the doctors please you have to use كود but can if you notice guys informal يعني أنا أقدر أستخدمه with friends, with close colleagues, with my family, but not informal situations. فيفضل استخدم الكان مع المقربون مثل ما لاحظنا guys. والكود للناس اللي ما بعرفها منيح. So this is good. Notice good. Wait. For polite request. For people I don't really know. Polite request, I have to use good. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, okay. So we have this conversation and we have here the using of can and could. Let's listen to the conversation and let's fill the blanks. So it's recording 5.17. No, this is it. And I think that this is 17. Tape script 5.15. No, I need 17. Tape script 5.17. Amazing. So let's listen. Polite requests. One. Can I have a coffee, please? Yes, of course. So? A coffee. 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 
برافو طبعا جايز برجع بنوه وبقول لاحظوا انه الكان والكود قادر استخدم معهم بليز وذ كان بليز وذ كان بليز وذ كود اند بليز وذ كود سو بوث اوف ذيم ار اكزاكتلي ذا سيم فقط الاختلاف الطفيف انه الكود از مور فورمال ناو تو Can you open the door for me, please? Sure, no problem. Oh, thanks. So, the door. The door. The door. The door. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Exactly. So, no problem. So, notice again the speaker used can this time. Now, conversation number three. Three. Could I have the menu, please? Certainly, madam. The so, menu? The menu, thank you so much. Men so notice the speaker this time used could, not can. Now, finally. Four. Could you tell me the time, please? It's 10.30. Thanks a lot. So could you... Tell, 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 me me the time. Time. tell me the time. Tell me the time. Exactly. Could you tell me the time, please? Can you tell me the time, please? Both of them are the same. So you notice that you can use can or could to ask for polite questions or maybe requests. So this is it, guys. If you notice the grammar spot is saying, can I or maybe could I? Can you or maybe could you? They express a request. Again, both of them are the same, except for sometimes I have to use can and other times I have to use could. Could is more polite. Now, let's listen to this recording, which is 5.19. Let's try to solve this exercise by using maybe can I or could I? Can you or maybe could you? Number one is sold for us. It is saying, can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Now two. Let's open the recording, which is 5.19. Tape script 5.18. No, I need 19. Tape script 5.19. Amazing. So let's listen. One. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? So can I. Now two. In white or brown bread? White or brown bread. Now two. Two. Could you post this letter for me, please? So... Could you? Could you? Could you? Exactly. So, could you or can you again? Could you pass this letter for me? Now, three. Yes, of course. No problem. Three. Can you give me your email address? So, can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? So, guys, two and could you or three? Can you? Can you? ولاحظوا guys انه مع ال could you استخدمت please بس احيانا مع ال can بقدر ما استخدم please السبب انه ال could هي more formal. Okay now four. I think you have it already. Four. Can I speak to you for a moment? So? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Exactly. Can I talk to you please? Can I? Now five. Can it wait? I'm a bit busy. Five. Can a? Can it wait? This is the compliment. Can it wait? Because I'm a little busy. So let's complete five. Could you lend me 20 pounds till tomorrow? I can lend you 10, but not 20. So. Could you? Could you? Could you? ما أكيد عم بطلبوا مصاري يعني لازم يكونوا مؤدبين مشان يعطونا. So could you could you lend me 
20 pounds, please. Only for tomorrow. Now six. Six. Can you give me a hand with this box? Of course. Do you want it upstairs? So? Can. Can, can you? Can you? So, can you or could you? Do you know the meaning of give me a hand? يعني ساعدني بحل المال. Oh, bravo. Can you help me or can you give me a hand? So, this is it. And absolutely, give me a hand is better than only help me. طبعا, guys, ما بننكر انه help me صح. يعني انا احيانا بشوف بال... سواء باليوتيوب او على السوشيال ميديا ما نقول help me. لازم نقول give me a hand هي guys أنا بستغرب أحيانا من هالفيديوز أكيد أنا قادر أقول can you help me لو أنه خطأ أو ضعيفة ما كانت انوجدت أصلا بالإنجليش بس أنا أحيانا ليش أحيانا guys بنستغرب بالإنجليش أنه عنا two sentences أو two words بيحوا نفس المعنى السبب الوحيد أنه أكتر شيء بتكرهه الإنجليش هي repetition فأنا ما بكرر vocab ما بكرر sentences فلها السبب قادر مرة أقول can you help me وقادر مرة تانية أقول can you give me a hand ف guys يعني please فلازم نكون حذرين لأنه برجع بقول لاحظت أنا في بعض الفيديوز إذا منقول I am tired خطأ لازم نقول I am exhausted أكيد I am tired صح لو أنه مش صح ما نوجدت بالإنجليش بس السبب الوحيد أنه ما بقدر كرر على طول وبقول I'm tired I'm tired فمرة بقول I'm tired with the next time I have to say I'm exhausted. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay. So, we finish mad. now? Yeah, because uh, this is the end of uh, level, uh, sorry, unit five. Now we have uh, to start the next class with level six. Okay. Do you have any thank questions? You. No. Let me thank, thank you, you guys, and we uh, let thank me wish everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.